What's up, timekeepers? Me, Tom Gamer here, bringing you another part of chapter three of Bendy and the Ink Machine. We're going to be going into secrets. So, if ready, I'm ready, Tom, to roll the intro. All right, guys, so today I'm going to be showing you a little bit more of the secrets I found around the internet there. And also, uh, what happens if you take the Alice path? Last time I took the Demon path. So, this time we're going to be taking the Angel path. Uh, at this point, I already played it a couple days ago. And I, I was just looking around to find some secrets, and we're gonna we're gonna go find them. So uh, basically, you're gonna see a montage. First, gonna start off with the angel path, and what happens at the end. That's a bit different. And then we'll just go in and find a couple of secrets. Like I think I'm gonna be trying the Tommy gun, uh, find the Meatly in the game, and then what else? There was uh, uh, Boris and the Bone, which is pretty easy at the beginning. And uh, we'll see we'll see if we can find any more than that. So without further ado, let's just jump right in. The last time we took the demon exit, now we're gonna take the angel. Hopefully it's gonna be a bit different. Everything feels like it's coming apart. But I walked into the recording booth today. Sammy was there with that Allison. Apparently I didn't get the memo. Alice Angel will now be voiced by Miss Allison Pendle. A part of me died when he said that. Maybe. This might lead to the same conclusion. I'm not sure yet, but we'll have to see. It seems like the same hallway. It is the same hallway. Oh, okay. The, the, the picture at the end is different, so that's pretty cool. Ooh la la. Hopefully we'll be able to save Boris. All right, so right now the next secret we're going to be looking at. Uh, so first we saw the angel path. We saw the little recording there and the, the little like the little picture at the end that end that um that ends basically after the credits if I remember correctly. So anyway, right now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting this here. If you want to find, we're going to do the bone uh, secret right now. If you're going to do that, you have to open the door before uh, the summit. Don't go out yet. Let Boris do whatever Boris does. Uh, nobody knows what he's doing, but. Uh, also, if you're if you're collecting all the the cans for the achievement, uh, there's a there, this door is usually locked until you open it, and now you can pick it out. Okay, you can also flush the toilet, but there's an extra can there if ever you wanna, if ever you wanna pick that up there. So that unlocks when you open the door. And there's then we're gonna pick up the bone over here for Boris, and Boris is gonna be a good little boy. Here we pick it up for him here. We're gonna go give it to him. I think that's it for uh, this part here. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Let's see what's out there. There you go, Boris. Nice little bone guy. Knick knack paddywhack. Okay, that's an achievement I just got. So I think the next next like achievement really is uh let's find some light. Uh, the secret room where the meatly is in, so I think that's where we're gonna jump to next. So see you then. Alright, so uh, before before we get to the uh to finding the meatly room where where the meatly is hiding, we're in this room there where we have to unclog the doors. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember at one point we, we were over here and there's like this secret thing with the and there's this thing we can play with here. Uh before you hit the switches, I think uh like the the videos and like uh, explanations I was reading and watching were saying that before you hit the switches to unclog these, you have to make this little blob thing. If you guys are I did this in the first video and I didn't know what the hell it was. You have to bring it into the ink machine. It's so Boris. Alice and then the ink machine. I think that's where we had we're supposed to leave it for, to be able to get the Tommy gun at some point. So then we can do the sequence here and then we'll go from there. So then it's Alice. Once you get to Alice, also was saying we need to take the demon, the demon path uh, to for it to work to get the Tommy gun. Sometime. So we'll see what it gives. Uh, I don't know exactly if it will work or not. So. so apparently, another one of the steps to do to try to get the Tommy gun is try to hitting it a lot of time before you when you get here the first time before Boris opens the door. Apparently that helps a bit, so I guess we'll do it. And we'll keep going. There's a couple more things to do later on before you actually pick it up. So we'll get more info on that, but before that we'll get we'll do the meatly thing, finding the secret room with the meatly in it. Alright, so from this point on, 
take the Tommy gun after she offers you. Apparently I have to wait a minute before even trying to touch it. So we'll wait a minute. I'll count. I'll check in the timer. Then uh, a little bit more than a minute after that, I have to go behind the machine. Backwards, I think. We'll try it. I don't know. So we'll go from there. Alright, so it's been a minute. Uh, I didn't touch anything for a minute. So I didn't move or anything. So then we have to go back. From here and then we have to the machine uh, I, I don't want to turn around but like you go in the corner and then you sort of have to shimmy your way around here there you go I think I got it there you go around here right in the corner then you have to hit behind the machine the whole whack of it I guess number wasn't specific but seems kind of weird I don't know if that's actually I don't think that's actually what you have to do but I'm gonna go with the precautions people were telling to do. See what that gives. And then should be enough. Go around and then we'll get available. Oh we got it, it worked. Cool. Now one one thing that's cool with that is now we're gonna go downstairs. First, uh so I was supposed to do the meatly first, but apparently I have to finish collecting everything. I'll go check right now before I go way down to the basement, see if, it, if I can go through the wall now since I did the four collection thing. Maybe it's going to be after I've done collecting the hearts too on the basement, but we'll see from there. So I'll go check that. If it works, I'll show you. If not, we'll wait after we uh, do the other thing. When I go downstairs too, is I can also kill the projectionist. That gives me a different achievement too, so that's pretty cool. Let's go from here. Uh, let's go, was it? P, if I remember. What the heck is this? All right, we found it. There you go. Uh, so after you're done, once once you're before you go to the basement, you can see the meat right here. Nice little cut out here. There you go. So it's when you go to P level and you go within the room, uh, the, the other room that doesn't have the musical instrument in, right beside the the sinks, right this wall with Boris, right there. So ding. So the other little thing here. Got our friend the projectionist here, and apparently we can kill him with the Tommy gun. So. He dead? Is he dead? No. Oh, he dead. All right. Cool, awesome. So there's one more thing to do down here. So we were able to kill him with the Tommy gun. I don't know if you could do it with Mac or something because he can run after you. I don't think so. You dead. Alright, so there's one more secret on this level before we leave the projectionist. There is planks here that you can bring down. It works with the zombie gun too, so. Go over here. And you have to turn this little valve here, and that's going to clear a level where we're going to get a special tape uh, tape recording from uh, our boy Henry, the guy we play in the game. So we have to go back to the stairwell. Right here. Now this area, with the, there's the bendy. There, this was full of ink before if you didn't fill, if you didn't turn that switch a Rooney there. I got I got a Tommy gun. That's way easier. I think there's one more monster if I remember. My game's a bit laggy. Sorry. Only two weeks into this Yay, Henry. Joey is a man of ideas and only ideas. When I agreed to start this whole thing with him, I thought there'd be a little more give and take. Instead, I give. Oh, I didn't. I'm, I'm an idiot. Someone has to make this happen. When in doubt, just keep drawing it, right? On the plus side, I've got a new character that I think people are going to love. 
So pretty much what it seems like it's almost like the inception of Bendy maybe. I don't know if I don't know if Henry invented Bendy, that would be kinda cool. To, that's its own creation that he sort of screwed up. I'm gonna go here to get the ladder. Oh no, it's actually it's easier if you take uh whatever this level is, I don't know. Level right above level nine. Level P? Yeah, take level P instead. Way faster. Alright guys, that's going to be it for all the little tiny secrets and different endings you can get in Bendy and Ink Machine. I know there's probably more secrets and more trophies you can, uh, sorry, achievements. In this case that you guys can uh, unlock there. I won't go through all of them. Go figure out them. You can try them out yourself. Go try them out. Uh, it's probably a better, like a better way to doing it. The, the Tommy gun thing at the end, uh, at the end there. It's probably not that convoluted to do. Anyway, we did it. It worked the first try. Thank God. And, uh, yeah. So, thank you so much, guys, for watching. If you want more videos, if you got other secrets for Benny, definitely leave it in the comment below. I'll try them out. I'll try to see if I can try it in another video or something like that. We'll see. Uh, it's... One thing I hate about this chapter is repeatability-wise, it's kind of sucky when you're trying to go to do all that, like, fetch quest. It gets boring after all, and that takes, like, those four, fe those five fe fetch quests. Let's say the four first ones are really like time consuming to do they take like almost 30 minutes to do just that on its own without counting the beginning and the end so it gets a bit annoying after a while and, and they, they always change orders and the, the swollen ones are a bit the, the hardest ones because they have random spawns and like i can it, literally when i got them three of them i got on one store because there's four on one on i got three of them on one floor because four spots are on that floor and two of them are like almost right beside each other and then another two are like almost right beside each other and if you stay there they probably almost spawn all the time and then yeah so they spawn um uh, enough but yeah, there's a lot of waiting so anyway besides that yeah thank you so much guys for watching of course hit that like button subscribe to the channel we really appreciate it follow me everywhere me time gamer twitter twitch facebook instagram and of course right here youtube.com for so much me time gamer where i post a new video every day of the week monday to friday 3 p.m eastern time well, thank you so much guys for watching. I will see you next video. Keep on keeping on.